Night of the Scorpion is a poem which even side by side represents the mindset of rational people and the mindset of irrational so rationalism or irrationalism you will find that uh, he remembers his his childhood days where uh, particularly the incident of the scorpion even the way he describes the poem the way he describes the situations in a poem is very important he he sees that that how people believe in superstition how people have very important uh towards religious belief and many other context physical reveals through night of the scorpion background casually is also very interesting poem and uh, here you will find it is a semi autobiographical poem where ezekiel reveals that how from childhood adulthood and in the old age he feels as a poet and even he represents that when he was a school he was always disconnected with the people he was keep aside that because he belong to jewish community muslims hindu this people they ignored ezekiel and that is the result that he expresses this results into his writing and there very important uh, sentence comes in background casually he says that the more i search the less i found so very importantly and even he represents his profession that is a poetry that uh, he worked uh, days and nights and ultimately his out of this all experiences the work comes out words comes out into the form of a poem poet lover bird watcher is also a very beautiful poem in this poem ezekiel has very importantly and very systematically tried to understand the process a creative process of writing okay he compares poet with lover and bird watcher okay in a way all these three are different poet is different than lover lover is different than bird watcher but ultimately there are certain common things which you can see in his in this poem so poet lover bird watcher tries to mingle all these three at the same platform and ultimately nisim ezekiel describes that how a poem comes into existence okay it is not a easy task writing a poem is not a easy task it requires patience it requires attention it requires a very importantly uh, settlement of your mind so creativity you can never uh, write a poem by force so therefore he says that good poet good poets wait for words okay so again you see that very uh, suggestive he suggestively he said about uh, the writing of a poem and you can also observe so these are the few famous poems by ezekiel in which he tried uh, to make poems or writing into the indian context now this is a time to look at the poem that is goodbye party for miss pushpa ts okay friends now we observed that ezekiel contribution ezekiel's contribution you can never uh, study indian poetry without studying ezekiel so he is a fatherly figure he inspired many people and in a way he represents indian psychology indian mindset to reveal the society the same 
thing same things you will see here in this particular poem that is goodbye party for miss pushpa ts okay so first i let me read a poem i would like to read certain things it starts with friends our dear sister is departing for foreign in 2 3 days and we are meeting today to wish her bon voyage you are all knowing friends what sweetness is in miss pushpa i don't mean only external sweetness but internal sweetness miss pushpa is smiling and smiling even for no reason but simply because she is feeling miss Pu- miss pushpa is coming from very high family her father was renowned advocate in bulsar or surat i am not remembering now which place surat eh hey, yes once only i stayed in surat with family members of my uncle's very old friend his wife was cooking nicely that was long time ago coming back to miss pushpa coming back to miss pushpa she is most popular lady with men also and ladies also whenever i ask her to do anything she was saying just now only i will do it that is showing good spirit i am always appreciating the good spirit pushpa mish is never saying no whatever i or anybody is asking she is always saying yes and today she is going to improve her prospect and we are wishing her bon voyage now i ask other speakers to speak and afterwards miss pushpa will do summing up so now let us discuss this poem in detail now friends first observe the title that is goodbye party for miss pushpa ts now in the title there are certain points you have to keep in mind first that the use of word goodbye okay when do we use this word okay generally we wish uh, we want that if someone is leaving at that time uh, we wish but ultimately goodbye is generally used by indians frequently okay uh, it should be generally there as a farewell party a farewell function we call it in our language as a farewell party so here from the very beginning from the title of the poem you observe that ezekiel has uh, very carefully used the word goodbye so goodbye party for mesh pushpa ts again the title itself reveals that uh, mesh pushpa we use the word the initials okay me uh, pushpa miss pushpa ts so at the end hey, here the initials are given that suggests the way as a indian we write or speak generally it reveals our psychology that we use initials at the end now <clears throat> what kind of picture comes to you when you see the title what kind of uh pictures or you can say that scenario we we see that uh, in this particularly this poem goodbye party for miss pushpa ts that is revealed quietly different than others let us see that certain things 
while reading a title comes in your mind first that there is a character called Mesh Pushpa. Okay, Mesh Pushpa, the name of the character is given. And when you finish the title, you observe that this this is about some function and that function suggests to a farewell party that here it is called as a goodbye party so in this function it is clearly suggested that this function this farewell party is for Mesh Pushpa now what is there let us see while reading the poems as very clearly observed here you will find that it is said friends our dear sister is departing for foreign in two three days and we are meeting today to wish her bon voyage okay now see the beginning see the beginning friends generally we start our speech when you read this first stanza you will come to know that the suggest suggestive meaning of this stanza is that in the speech okay when we give a speech we address like friends so friends very commonly we are using in our speech so now when you read this stanza you you can observe that there is one speaker now who is that speaker we don't know and what is the relationship of this speaker with uh, mesh pushpa even uh, we are not sure about it but the speaker is giving a speech that you can assume while reading the first stanza because it starts a very unusual way uh, that generally we speak uh, generally when we speak we use certain kinds of words okay please notice uh, also here a uh, certain kinds of words even you have to also take care about the language what kind of language is used and particularly as it is mentioned here and that you can also come to know that is informal the language of the poem is very uh, it is quite info informal so our dear sister is departing for foreign in two three days now our dear sister is again commonly used for a chief guest or generally we use beloved sister so very common Indian expression okay our dear sister is departing for foreign now is departing for foreign uh, uh, you will ob also observe here the use of word foreign okay uh, instead of abroad Ezekiel has used the word foreign now departing is generally in India we use for the person who someone who is leaving or going somewhere. So uh, Mesh Pushpa is departing for foreign. Now here the indication is not given that why Mesh Pushpa is departing, why she is leaving. But at the end of the poem you will see that she is living for certain kinds of reasons now foreign is very important word here why because it is not today but when Ezekiel was writing a poem just think about that time during that time going to abroad or going into the foreign country was very important Okay, it was considered as a very important festival, you can say that, or very important kind of event in the life of a person. Now you can feel here that Mishpushpa is going 
foreign and that that is the reason that the party is arranged okay in 2 3 days okay in 2 3 days means uh, very soon she will depart uh, she will leave for foreign very soon and the word 2 3 days is also uh, here mentioned that is a very colloquial or you can say that literal translation of vernacular language we are meeting today so here you will observe the mention of or particularly in this poem you will observe continuously there is a use of present continuous tense so we are meeting today to wish her bon voyage bon voyage uh, means happy journey okay friends so the first stanza or beginning of the poem tells you about the way we speak english the way we use certain kinds of words and phrases in our speech it also indicates you that we have habit of speaking or using continuous present tense frequently now through reading this stanza th- throughout the reading of this stanza you are sure that you know that why miss pushpa is living okay she is going foreign and therefore people her friends or relatives they have arranged a party okay so it is a occasion of a party farewell party and there is no clear indication but as a reader we have to imagine that in the party people are speaking about miss pushpa again interestingly the occasion here what the occasion is described you will also find that in indian context uh, whenever there is a party or whenever there is a chief guest we prefer to speak in english and that is that has become a fashion but generally nobody observes in the ungrammatical or usage of wrong or incorrect english in his or her